Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer m as the input and print the Fibonacci series from that is formed by the given so here it is print the n terms of the Fibonacci series formed by the given strings so the first term of the Fibonacci series is A and the second term of the series is B so integer n will be our input and we have to print the n terms of the Fibonacci series found by the given strings the first term will be A and the second term will be B. So as they have given first term is A and the second term will be B and Fibonacci series is nothing but the sum of the current term and the previous term. So we have b plus a that is b a and then similarly current term and previous term b a and then b and then the sum of current term and previous term is b a b b a so b a b b a and then b a b b a and b a b and then for the next term this one and this one so we'll just copy this and this and after that we have this and the previous term and after that we have current term plus the plus uh, previous term so here we have got nine terms so we'll take our test cases so first our integer n is 6 so we have to print the six terms so this will be our output And if n is equal to 9, then we have to print the 9 terms. And this will be our output. Since there is no space, it has come down. Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get our integer n. And then we'll have a list called as Fibonacci where we are going to store the n terms of the series so the first two terms are already given that is a and b so after this we are going to iterate over a loop for n times so 1 comma n minus 2 plus 1 so here we have used minus 2 because already two terms are given so it is n minus 2 and we have plus 1 because the end argument is exclusive so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so we can give minus 1 and for each iteration we are going to add the last term and the last but 
one term that is b and a so for that fibonacci dot append of the fibonacci that is fibonacci of minus 1 plus fibonacci of minus 2 so this minus 1 will represent the last term and this minus 2 will represent the last but one term so we'll get the sum of b and a and after that we have to print asterisk fibonacci so now let us run our program with our first test case yes we have got the correct output that is a plus b is b a and b a plus b is b a b and similarly for the six terms now we'll pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.